welcome back to my channel guys it's your boy Casper Casper Kamar and today I'm joined with a special guest that guest is I'm Viongo no. <laughs> <I'm Viongo GTV. laughs> that's my dad mm -hmm. and today the video what's the video dad we're just talking about real life issues right, so what's the first topic that you'd uh, how, how, bring how, up? How, how, how you coped with the lockdown <sighs> it was a stressful period just staying in the house um, there was no school for me um, so it, it hindered my learning I'd say I wouldn't I didn't learn as much as I would have but you have to learn to live with it and it's a, it's a useful experience learning to be in the house all day you, you learn skills that's from a teenage perspective dad what would you say how how is it for you um, it was also a bit stressful not maybe getting on with life the way we come to be used to and i think it was an eye opener of mm. what may be some of the things we ignore or we don't even take notice of the social life waking up mostly you know those people who are not going anywhere those people who are working in what we call the essential services sector they were still going out but the people who are spending most of the time <coughs> in the house i think is one of the most stressful time yeah. The things we take for granted, like meeting your friends, going out for a drink, driving out and about, I think being restricted from their day-to-day -day social life was one of the most stressful time. Yeah. But I think we are getting, I think it's an eye-opener of what it means to have friends, to be able to visit your friends, have time with your friends, socialize, yeah, yeah, yeah. and discuss yeah. normal day-to-day <coughs> right. cool. and even mostly to the, to the parents who had children I think it was one of the hardest times when you're trying to tell your children they cannot go out to the way they are used to yeah. they wake up you see it's the garden and you're like dad can we go to the park yeah. no the parks are closed why the issue of answering the why every morning dad I want to go to the park no why because there's a lockdown what is lockdown a lockdown is a what now that was a big, big, big thing. Mm -hmm. And um, what's the second? Football, because, uh, yeah, cool. So, uh, you talk about football. I know you're, you're, yeah. you're a big football fan. I think I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm losing a lot of uh, follow up on the football. But um, as, as, as someone from Leeds, we are celebrating the promotion of Leeds United. <laughs> we were out there <laughs> celebrating. Leeds United coming back to the Premier League after 16 years wait. It was 16 years. 16 years. They went down when I moved into Leeds in 2003. It's been a long way. 2004, in fact, the year they were very mm -hmm. So in football, that's for us. In fact, we are looking forward. Yeah. I met quite a number of people who are thrilled to see Leeds mm -hmm. United back in the Premier League. And then... So you're going to get a season ticket? Oh, I don't even think they say... Any left. Tickets. You, you came to Leeds and we tried to go to even to watch a, a Champions League game and couldn't even get a when, ticket. When are, the, when are the fans allowed back in matches? September? We, we, October? We, we, we don't know what, how it's going to open up, but um, we are looking forward maybe to getting back into the stadium. Right. It, 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 feels, it feels great. For football, like even Leeds United to get promoted when there were no fans in the stadium, I think it's, it was not the best moment but yeah the fans were outside cheering their teams yeah so we are looking forward maybe to going back into the <coughs> stadium enjoying games the way we are used to doing yeah so um, i just like to which, say which team do you support are you still um chelsea yeah I'm still um, how, chelsea how, how, how is chelsea how do you think they have yeah. done in their season uh, on the out of 10 i'd say uh, seven i'd say um considering last season we lost hazard who was our best player we had a new manager coming in and um, and a transfer ban as well. <coughs> I'd say the season we, we we played a lot of youth, um, and the youth did pretty well. Players like Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, they stepped up big time. And then even um, older players like Willian Shiru, um, they did all right as well. But the main problem everyone would say is Can just you still see us there? was the the defense oh. Kepa. The, one of the worst keepers in the league. Worst? Uh, 
Or good. Which, statistically, is the worst. Oh. But I don't think I don't think he's the worst. But statistically, he is. He's done all right. Nah, I wouldn't say he's done all right. He cost like seventy million. The price, Ooh, the price then, tag. Then he should be one but of the, the best. But the price of the tag is, is too much. Maybe he can't live up to it. I still have faith in him, but for next season, we need a new keeper. So was he your first goalkeeper? Or was he? Yeah, he was been, okay. Yeah, then he ended up getting dropped. But uh, yeah, that's been our intake from Casper and Dad, Casper's dad. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. <laughs> we'll We're see gonna you next see you next time.